Hello, and welcome to the Board Game Chuck YouTube channel. My name is Pierre. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Star Wars, the deck building game. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the discovery. So here we go. Finally, my mat that I use for unboxing is thematically relevant to the game that I have here, which is Star Wars, the deck building game. It's a smaller box than I was expecting but um, it gives me the vibes of, I used to play the Star Wars um, Decipher CCG way, way back in the 90s. And this is kind of the vibes it gave me, so I picked it up. So here we'll start with the rule book. And it's quite a thick rule book. I've, I've gone over it uh, in PDF form and uh, it does a really good job of explaining the rules, which is nice. And some frequently asked questions at the back, and some more Star Wars uh, merchandise in the back here. Next, we'll go into these uh, cubes here. So we have one white one, which is uh, going to be tracking uh, who ha whoever has the force with them the most. And uh, these purple ones here are damage cubes, and the yellow ones here are resource cubes. Now, the only other thing we have in this box is a whole bunch of cards. So we have five whole packs of cards. I will open them up and I'll be right back. Okay, perfect. So here we are with all the cards unwrapped at the bottom here, and this is a perfect opportunity to present my new segment called... That's right, Anatomy of a Card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, the cards here and I will kind of explain what we see on these cards. So the first thing here we see is the uh, the Utterim pilot, and for those in the know, of course, this is the pilot Boshek here. Okay. Take a look, so this is the title of the card here. We have some unit uh, here. This is uh, some sort of stuff that's interactable here. Uh, here we have his cost, and here it's not shown here, but I'll show you later. So this would be how much damage he does, so he doesn't do any damage. This is how much uh, resources he will gather. And the next one would be how much force that they would give you. Um, some of them have, like let's say this one here, I'll, uh, kind of spoiler alert here for the Chewbacca coming up. There's a plus here, it means that they are um, a unique card as well. And this would be, of course, the Rebel card. Next here we have, oh there's some stuff that's not on this card, so I'll show it as we come by. The cards here, so, oh and there's also this, um, this is just the ability. And then we have just have some flavor text at the bottom. So it's the same card here the whole way. And then here we have some player aid cards. And this is the balance of the force tracker. And it starts on the rebel side here. And if the empire gains some, this the, that white cube moves up. If it's in the middle, it's neutral. And then, yeah, there you go. Next here, we have the starting deck for the rebels. So again, see the damage here has a little, a little gun there. And then this Alliance shuttle here gives you one resource cube. And it's a transport. Some cards will interact with these keywords, right? We got the keywords there, trooper. And then everyone has uh, one of these kind of uh, characters here. So this is the temple guardian here. He costs nothing, of course, because he's in your starter deck. So there you go, and then he has uh, this little um, ability here. And here we have the planets. So the point of this game, it's not planets, these are bases. The point of this game is to destroy three opponent's bases. And here we have, so I'll go through them. We have Dantooine. We have Mon Cala. Tatooine, which is weird because that is usually a um, a neutral kind of planet, since it's in the Outer Rim. Anyways, it doesn't matter, I'm a big nerd. But this is how much damage that the base can sustain before it gets destroyed. We have Celest, Yavin Quattro, Hoth, Bespin Cloud City, again a neutral planet, Dagobah, and Alderaan, Jeddah, and then back to Dantooine here. There you go. Next, we have the uh, Empire's starting deck here. So we got some stormtroopers here, two of them. We have their Imperial shuttle, four resource cubes. 
And their last card is called the Inquisitor here. And that's cool. And then we'll go through their planets. This is the starting planet for the Imperials, which is Lothal. Which is pretty cool, because I'm watching uh, Star Wars Rebels right now, so this is very uh, thematically tied into what I'm watching. It's Corellia. Coruscant. The Death Star. I mean, it's not a moon or a planet, but it's a battle station. We got Endor here. Mustafar. Kefreen. Ord Mantel. Oops. Kessel. Rhodia. And then back to Lothal here. So the next uh, cards I have to show here, maybe I'll separate them in two because it's a pretty big stack. This is going to be the cards that uh, are placed in the middle of the table here. So if it has an Imperial, sorry, a Rebel symbol, only the Rebel player can buy them. And if it has a, let's see, an Imperial symbol, only the Empire can buy it. So we have a couple more icon icons here that weren't um, on the starting cards. So this one here, so let's say you're in the the row of the six cards that you can purchase. So the rebel player can purchase it for four, but if you have four attack power, you can destroy Chewbacca in the row and then gain this reward as the Imperial player, which is uh, a little reminiscent of the Power Rangers game that I'm playing right now. A uh, gentleman at work bought the uh, Power Rangers game and we're having fun at work with that one. So, so here we got Chewbacca, we got Jin Erso, you wings. The Hammerhead Corvette, again, this is how uh, you put the Corvettes out and they s uh, persist during your turn. And uh, to be able to destroy them, you can have to do this much damage to them. Got uh, that Han Solo guy here. Cassian Andor, very cool that he's in there. Some B-Wings. Princess Leia. And I do like that they're not just stills from the movie. Uh, they are, you know, drawn, which is nice. The Millennium Falcone. Luke Skywalker. Some TIE Fighters here. Admiral Piet, one of my faves. Some TIE Bombers, Rebel... I'm oh, sorry, Scout Trooper. Death Trooper. TIE Interceptor. The Gazanti Cruiser. Moff Jerjerod. General Viz. He is also cool. And uh, he plays a very good villain in... Um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Got the ATST, Landing Craft, Director Krennic, Boba Fett, very popular with the kids I see here, Imperial Carrier, Grand Moff Tarkin, AT-80, a Star Destroyer, another Star Destroyer, and of course Darth Vader right there. So don't go anywhere, I still have the second stack here to go through. So we have the Z-95 Headhunter, who seems to be a neutral card here. The Java Scavenger. The Rhodium Gunslinger. So yeah, so these are um, neutral, so everyone can buy them. Lobo. Bosk. Fang Fighter. Twilight Smuggler. The Sea Rock Cruiser, a Croc Cruiser. Probably wear those on your feet if you want. There's Dangar, Corrin Mercenary, HWK 290, the Blockade Runner. Oops, I'm dropping stuff. IG 88, the Nebulon B Frigate, Lando Calrissian. I'm assuming all of these bounty hunters and Lando and Lobo are uh, neutral because kind of in the movies anyways the first time you meet them they're kind of like bounty hunters and just for sale because they have no honor this job is sail barge here job at a hut some y wings Baze malbus here snow speeder a duro spy rebel transport chirut imwi rebel commando x-wing and then there you go so that is everything. Uh, empty box and a video, as I say. So if you liked what you saw, uh, maybe, you know, like, subscribe. If you comment, I will make sure to answer it as soon as I can. And until next time, have a good one.